Well, hello travelers, and it is traveling around Friday today, and we have come, we had some errands to run. Maybe one of them should be a haircut for me. I don't know, maybe. But we had some errands to run, and we wanted to come to one of our local spots here and give it a try. It is Maple Street Biscuit Company. So we're gonna go in and see what Maple Street has to offer us today. <music> This location of Maple Street is in the Hamlin area just off of 429 which is right over there 429 and Independence Parkway so if you're coming this is the location in Hamlin and they also offer outdoor seating when the umbrellas are up and everything nice days like this you'd want to sit outside What makes Maple Street a little different is that they have their own coffee line and of course merchandise. This is a chain and we will talk about that once we get to the table. But this is Maple Street and they make everything fresh and from scratch right back there in the kitchen. And they are a biscuit company so they have biscuits to go right here. You can get a half dozen or a dozen right here. And like I said that's their kitchen right back there. I just love this place. So let's take a look at the menu right here. Pretty simple, not too um, extravagant, but the food is really good here. Me and Michelle have tried this place before. There used to be a location up in Gainesville I always wanted to try, but I never got a chance to. But there is one now literally 10 minutes from our house. So we were out running errands and we thought we'd come give this a try for breakfast again this morning. Their chicken strips are really good. And me and Michelle, what did you get today, Michelle? I got the cowboy, which is the country fried steak, bacon, cheddar, egg, and you get your egg any way you want it. So I get mine over, I don't know what it's called. Medium? Over medium. Like I like the white cooked, but the yellow still can be however, I don't gotcha. care. Gotcha, okay. But the white, that's a mandatory, have to be cooked all the way. And then you get um, sausage or the shiitake gravy. I do believe I got the sausage gravy. Yeah, and there is a little spice, she yeah, said, to the gravy. Yeah, all the sausage gravy has a little bit of spice because their sausage yep. is a little spicy. And then I went with the chicken and waffles right here. Crispy chicken on an Asiago bacon waffle. You can get a vanilla waffle if you want, but she highly recommended the Asiago waffle. So we are going to give that a try today, plus a side order of biscuits and gravy. Travelers, we have made our way into the Maple Street Biscuit Company right here on this traveling around Friday, and it is Friday. So when you guys watch this, it'll be fantastic. But we've already got our food, and we're gonna go ahead and show you our food real quick. Michelle, go ahead with yours. I got the, um, what was it called again? The Cowboy. The cowboy. Look at that. Yeah. That is like amazing. The food is really good here. It um, has, well, I've already told you what's in it, but look at that. It's like huge. And then this is my chicken and waffles right here. And this is the Asiago waffles. And with the chicken right there on the back side. And then we got a little side of biscuits and gravy right with there. A little cup of. With their house made jam. jam. Everything is you house made. Um, that's a berry jam. It's a berry. We're going to go with berry jam. Team berry. Every Speaking of which, like the emojis, we've got the um, team grape and, and team, team strawberry little emoji things. And if you join our membership. Yeah. So I will help you and say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And if you subscribe to the channel, it allows you to join, which then you'll become part of the membership. And I need some team strawberries. I think I've seen two team grapes on there so far. By the way, yes. Michelle is sporting her new merchandise shirt there. It's absolutely great. Thank and you all very, thank you. very much yes. for your support and your orders that you've done. You, it's, you just don't know what a boost that is to be back in it making is, and yeah. stuff. I'm having so much fun with it. We're changing um, things up constantly, so I think um, 
you know, sadly, I think we're going to move away from the cookies and get more into the confection. That's understandable. Just like the chocolate coated things and a lot of like good candy kind of stuff. Things that you can really get, take to the resort or have at home. It's easier to ship, easier to store. Yeah. We don't have to worry about freshness getting to you. There were just, it was going well. It was just a lot of work on our end. Yeah. And basically we remembered really quick why we didn't have the bakery anymore. <laughs> so... This but is the next best alternative. You'll see me smiling again. The so toffee is fantastic. And if anybody's it been to so Disneyland good. and had the churro toffee, her toffee is pretty spot on. And that Thank comes it is very from good. some folks that have already ordered it. They said it was yeah, fantastic. It's really super good. And we're really going to try to keep um, a good stock of everything available. So you don't have to worry about it being sold out or not being able to get it. Um, so it should be available yeah. to you. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you once again. Yeah, thank have you. Have fun with it. Okay, we're gonna do a Sorry, thumbnail I'll real quick. Business. Ready? Wanna do a thumbnail? Yeah. Well no, but yes. Okay. Do you know, yeah, put yours up there too. I stick. Oh there you go. My lollipop. Let biscuit. them sit down in the back real quick. See you get to see the process of the sausage being made as we, we like to say. The parking lot and so there we sticks. go. There we go. We're gonna cover his face real quick. Okay, there, we there we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, they're right there behind us, but that's okay. Do you want to move? There? No, no. Do you oh, want to turn around? No, we're going to switch right to there. You just slide over a little bit. There we go. Perfect. 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 Okay, so we're going to dig into our mills. Just to let you know that the Maple Street Biscuit Company is a chain um, restaurant. There are 40 of them. I just got to give them a hands down on the ketchup, though. It's okay. Like, it's just ketchup. Like, pick a team. Hunt's, Heinz, or that team. not sponsored, <laughs> or that but team. fancy, like, it's like Coke, I like all things brown and fizzy, <laughs> <laughs> I like everything red, as long as it's ketchup, but okay. a so, a um, we can actually talk to their parent company if you'd like to, because Maple Street um, Biscuit Company, like I said, is 40 stores throughout the southeast, and their parent company is, do you know who their parent company is, Michelle? Um... Their parent company. Parent yes. company of Maple. This is very reminiscent of... Go ahead, say it. Parent company. I don't know. Cracker Barrel owns oh, Maple Street Biscuit Company. I would have never guessed that. So they were recently purchased in 2019. Okay, well that makes so sense now that you see the food. Now you can see the food and understand made by hand, made by scratch. So we're going to get our but breakfast it is ready. all made here. Yeah. You can see the biscuits Everything is out. made here. And we'll go over the coffee in a little bit because that's one of the highlights that I think of this okay, recipe. So We're gonna... First bite, I want to try this jam because it smells delicious. Michelle there, has prepped There is our... a biscuit in there somewhere. <laughs> Look at that. Wish you guys were here with us. <laughs> Cheers, honey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. It's the crunchiness of the biscuit and the flakiness inside and then that jam. That is really good. Their sausage gravy is a little spicy and Not bad. It's like chunky. A one or two. It's very mild, but it, there is a little kick to it. But look at that size. That is a piece of sausage in the sausage gravy. I gotta get a biscuit. Oh, that was all yeah, sausage. Yeah, that was all sausage. There we go. Cheers once again. I haven't had this biscuits and gravy in a while. Michelle always makes it for us. Wait, hang on a second. Hold on. I need to move the hammer. Hang on a minute. This, is, this could be better. It could be worse. But it's better than it was. So, yeah. Sorry. We sorry. We had to change the angles. Out. <laughs> we're gonna, that sometimes we're, happens. We're more aware now that we're not including others right. just for privacy. Yeah. So we're trying to, you know. Trying to do the best we can. Right. Okay. So that was yours. That was my. Oh, sorry. She knew exactly which fork was mine. Because mine right had there. the big old thing on it. Okay. <laughs> now we'll go. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Now I'm I'm backwards, and so now you're gonna see through my hand. You go ahead and try that. I love their biscuits and gravy. I already licked it off my hand. Oh, that was cheating. Mm -hmm. I love biscuits and gravy. It's really good. This one's a little spicier. Michelle still makes the best biscuits and gravy I've ever eaten in my life. And my mom made them, my grandmother made them, her grandmother made them. Thank you. Hers These are, are the close. Best. These are good. They're, they're good. They're not yours. Let's just be honest. Okay. So 
So since we got the camera rolling, I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and have some more. Well, mine's basically just steak. And yeah, yours is pretty much the same thing because it's got the same gravy on it and the same um, biscuit. So we're not gonna. We'll let her give that a try. We are. I know we've said this for like the past three years, but we are right now looking at upgrading our phones. So thank you again for to our past Patreon members. We no longer have the Patreon, but that money is going towards upgrading the phones. I promise. Yeah. So hopefully by the next video, maybe Sunday's video, maybe we'll Sundays. be on the new equipment. If not, definitely by Wednesdays. So we're working on it. Better shots, better sound. I'm I trying to you, get him. I to thought you. Oh, we already had that. We're getting the chicken and waffles. I was just talking. <laughs> Okay, I've cut you a piece of waffle there. It's not that big. Piece of chicken. Gotta get the chicken. Chicken and waffles. I'm not gonna turn it down. There we go. It's kind of a big bite. There it is right there. I know, it's always a big bite when I eat. Cheers, you guys. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. That is fantastic. The crunch. The waffle is nice and light and fluffy, but has a good little crust on the outside. The Asiago cheese, I thought I wouldn't like it, but it's really good. Where is it? Oh, it's on the waffle? It's in the waffle. Asiago oh. cheese and bacon waffle. Who would have thunk? And then, of course, the crispy chicken is fantastic. It's got really good flavor. It does. Maple Street, Bacon, ba Maple Street Biscuit Company is literally eight minutes behind the Magic Kingdom, north of the Magic, northwest of the Magic Kingdom, in the Hamlin area. It's right off the Independence. Get off um, Reams Road, yeah. take Reams Road to the left, coming out of Magic Kingdom. Yep. And it's about, about eight minutes, seven, eight yeah. minutes, by the Walmart Plaza, there's a Publix. I think you told them everything was here. Um, they're only open till three, so they're like a brunch place, breakfast brunch place. And just remember, you can actually see the fireworks from these parking lots in these shopping centers. So it's really a great little area in the Hamlin area off of Independence, right off the 429. So very easy to get to. Great prices and great food. Okay, my, my biscuit fell all to pieces. That's a disaster. Her plate is a disaster right now. It kind of is. <laughs> all right, so there's biscuit. There That's you all Take you. Take that piece. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Good God. Look at, look at the bite. Oh, I tried to give you a little look bit. At that. Oh, look at that steak in there. It's Piping basically the hot. same. just has the country fried steak. Yeah. I got a biscuit again, but yeah. it's okay. good. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. And there's that fancy ketchup. <laughs> I haven't had anything here I don't like. I haven't either. Mm. The prices are fairly reasonable for what you get for fresh yep. cooked. Totally agree. Totally it's fast, agree. Easy in, easy out. Yep. Okay. Do they deliver? I don't know. I would have to find that out. We're going to have to see if they're on Uber Eats. That's a great question. Michelle's got like I'm a little. I'm checking that out. Michelle's got a little halo around her because of all the lights. She's my little angel. Look at her. I'm glowing from all the chocolate. <laughs> That's me. I'll tell you what. It is so hard keeping them oh, out of it. It's tough. Especially when she's cooking something new. I have to try it. Of course. You know me. Yeah, we'll take some volunteer testers. We already have oh, wait, a couple. You better hold off on it. There, there might, you might get a rash of people <laughs> coming. We are trying to do some fun things with it, too, by the way. Um, I'm not going to guarantee it's going to come in every single one. But we are trying to give you little samples and little tastes now of the other items that you don't order. So keep checking back because every time we, you know, every week we're adding stuff. I know it's limited right now, but I'm trying to do it in like groups of different types of foods. So anyway, yeah. enough about that. But we're, we're having fun with it. So what we found out on the delivery? It's kind of traveling around Disney's merchandise. That's right. our merchandise. merchandise. So it kind of goes together. Um, okay, Uber Eats. This is called Maple Maple Street Street Biscuit Company. Yes, they are on Uber Eats. Okay. 
They have a 4.7 rating on Uber Eats. Okay. There's a zero delivery fee right now as long as you order $15 or more. So they will deliver to the property. And the prices seem the same as they are here inside the store. Oh, that's I always love that when the prices aren't raised. Let me on. see what um, mine was called the Cowboy. No, it's a little bit more. It's sixteen eighty five on the app. I think that's Uber Eats. They raise the prices. The Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't cool. have a price. Though. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's twelve ninety five if you come yeah. here. So you're paying really a four dollar premium. So it's a little more, but it will deliver. And I think this stuff will travel pretty good. So I wouldn't hesitate. Yeah, I wouldn't hesitate at all. But so it's going to be a little bit more expensive if it comes directly to you. All I can say is these waffles are absolutely fantastic. So anyway, I'm in. Okay. Let's go back to eating our biscuits and gravy. You must like that jam. I do. You do. <laughs> Okay, we have finished up our wonderful breakfast here at the uh, Maple Street ba Maple. It's so hard for me to remember. Maple Street Biscuit Company. I just don't understand why I can't remember that. Here in Hamlin, and one of the neat things about every Maple Street Biscuit Company in America is they have their own coffee mugs. So this is the Hamlin one, and they come in different colors. I did not get coffee today. I just got one of the samples because. <laughs> They have some fantastic sweet tea. But anyway, at all the Maple Street Biscuit companies, they have their own mugs. So when you go to one, you can buy them. So it's kind of like a Starbucks mug, location mug. So I thought that was really neat here at Maple Street. Had a great breakfast. Like I said, we've eaten here before and I haven't found anything I don't like. So I would highly recommend it. Eight to 10 minutes behind Magic Kingdom. Plus, if you're coming up from Walmart to get supplies and stuff, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Might as well stop in. Publix, pizza place. Yeah. There's a Chick-fil-A. There's, there's an a, auto store. Yeah. Like, there's all kinds of little shops. That oh, just opened Sinopolis, up the movie theater. We yeah, come up here, here to watch our movies well, sometimes. Well, this is where the bakery was, too, that we did the one video. Yes. The, um, what was it called? The Paris Baguette, yeah. which is right across the road. Back here. Good thinking. I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. So, okay. That's why I'm So, here. I know. <laughs> My great sidekick. Hopefully, I can remember what he forgets, and he'll remember all the things. That she I is definitely a better Robin than I am a Batman. I can tell you that right now. Does that make sense? Is that a compliment? Yeah, it is. You're a better Robin than I am. I'm, I'm a good yeah. Batman. Thank You're you a so great much. Robin. You're a great Robin. So, any, anyways. I'm going to finish this biscuits okay. and gravy. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I guess. Uh, it makes sense. If you guys, <laughs> does that make sense? Leave it in the comments down below. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Well, if you think I'm a good Robin. Right. You're my I think I'm way better Batman. <laughs> oh, you want right? to be Batman. Are you saying you want to be Batman? I don't understand what he means. I don't know. Okay. We got off of Okay. I'm going to finish my biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Michelle, sandwich. Everything was good, I'm guys. Batman. I'm always Batman. I like how you said it. I am Batman. <laughs> I may be Batman with a Robin suit on, but I'm always Batman. <laughs> she is always in charge. You guys know that. So, oh, by the way, thanks everybody for stopping by the McCullough Art booth and saying hello and taking pictures because I am allowed to take pictures. So if you ever stop by, I asked Nath if that was okay. And she says, yes, not a problem at all. So stop by, come buy some great art. One of my favorite artists at the art festival. So, is do you think Greg and them watch this? Do they watch? Nat might. She might. Okay. Well. I think Greg's busy painting all the time. That's what I'm thinking. I grill him on the way home. Like, what art did he get this evening or today? So please stop feeding the bear. Like, I have not gotten any <laughs> art yet. He works for art. <laughs> yet there will be some pieces acquired this season. Okay. You guys. I'm going. Ready? Yep. I'm going to finish my biscuits gravy. And travelers, like we say, until next time. And it's great to be back. Travel and Adventure is out there. <laughs> I showed you the coffee cup. See, there's different colors. There's a green, there's a burgundy, and there's one more, usually three colors. But this, I love their coffee station. It's got a maple tap, dark bark, decaf, light amber, um, and maple, and the dark bark again. But the simple sweet coffee syrup, it is so good in the coffee. I didn't get coffee today because I love their sweet tea. And of course, they got their Coutromonts right here. All the silverware. It's like a 
you walk up to the counter to order you take a number and then they bring it out to your table so it's like a quick serve restaurant combo but that's all the kitchen right back here and they're making fresh biscuits and all that good stuff all day long well also three o'clock and they even offer iced coffee which i've hardly ever seen anywhere but just remember that simple sweet coffee syrup mm, so good and the best thing about maple street biscuit company there's also a crumbles right next door so you can get best of both worlds.